fevers like diarrhea you met with a, I you had a, you met with a handful of state leaders during bilateral meetings like South Korea, Vietnam, mm -hmm. Colombia. Um, it's a given that you uh, you would usually push for stronger cooperation between the said nations. Yes, 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 of course. But uh, have you formally signed? Uh, have you formally signed any formal agreement with uh, those countries uh, that would entail uh, gains for the Philippines? No, that's not the purpose of the bilateral agreements. Uh, in my case, because I'm the new new kid in town, right? So uh, it's to meet people and say, you know, we've had, I know uh, we've had our countries, like Canada today, it's, um, say it's, I've never met uh, uh, the Prime Minister, uh, and he has never met me, but, he, you know, we have so many Filipinos in Canada. So talagang importante na masabi ko lang na nagpapasalamat ako kasi magandang trato ng mga Canadians sa mga Filipino at uh, uh, at uh, dapat uh, tiyakin natin, let's make sure that everything will be okay, that nag-uusap tayo. And Canada, for example, is a, is a particular example kasi ang layo na ng Canada pero sumama sila dito. And I think that's going to be a trend. Uh, that uh, the United States is across the Pacific, sumama sila dito. Uh, so it's, it's really, it's going to be a trend and you can see that the, the how, how, uh, ASEAN has grown. Nakakapag-convene na tayo ng Amerikano, ng Russo, ng China, ng kahit sino na inimbita natin. New Zealand was there today, Australia was there today. Lahat sila sumupunta dahil importante importante ang ASEAN. And that just shows you how central really to the uh, economic planning the ASEAN is. And that is why, that's why uh, we are, I was, my, my first, uh, uh, how do you say, my first, I wouldn't call it a proposal, but my first idea was to say, let's go back to pre the, pre the, stat the status in, uh, before the pandemic, where the real driver of the global economy was Southeast Asia. Yung pinatawag dati nun emerging economies. Wala na emerging markets. Wala na ngayon yung emerging markets because the, emer the, the there are no emerging markets because ang gulo-gulo nga ng, ang gulo-gulo na ng uh, ekonomiya sa buong mundo. But, uh, I said that nonetheless, we still should work to bring ASEAN back to that, uh, to that status um, in, uh, uh, in uh, the global economy. So, the, 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 that, 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 uh, in, in the bila, iba-ibang subject matter, natural. Like for Korea, uh, na pag-usapan lahat na pag-usapan namin uh, uh, especially sa economic uh, cooperation kung ano yung ODA na gusto nang gawin ano yung mga well they have many big they have many sa Korea for example marami silang contractor na gumagawa ng heavy engineering sa mga malalaking project uh, so sabi ko damihan natin um, and what other uh, na napag-usapan pa yung Korean national na in-extradite natin pati yun yung mga, mga, mga subject na ganun lahat ay nakocover yun so it's, it's, it's an opportunity for both sides to bring up any any subject that uh, that you feel is important and it's important for like the, I'm talking to the president of Korea it's important for me to know yun ang concerns nila para pwede natin tignan kung meron tayong magawa para pagandahin naman yung sitwasyon so uh, in terms of the bilaterals, you don't really come away with from the bilaterals with the with an agreement or all that. It's just talagang pakiramdaman muna. Uh, ano ba talagang problema? What do you want? What do I want? What can we do together? What are the things that we cannot do? All of that. Uh, that's really that's really what the bilaterals are for. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah, is that it? Were you able to taste?